Hi everyone, Greeno here, and welcome to another video here on Greeno Eats. Now today, I'm in Stoke. I'm on my way home from Blackpool, and I've come into Stoke to pick up a bit of a local speciality. So behind me, you'll see a shop there called JB Oatcakes and Pikelets. I've come to pick up Staffordshire Oatcakes. Now these are kind of like little pancakes, but made with a sort of oaty batter, and they're absolutely blooming delicious. I got introduced to them when I was a teenager. My auntie Paula moved up to Stoke, with a fella <laughs> and whenever I used to come up and stop with them we'd always have oat cakes around. You fill them with sausage and cheese or bacon and cheese that sort of thing and they make a cracking breakfast. Anyway it's lunchtime. let's get in, grab myself some oat cakes, in fact I'm going to buy a packet of them to take home as well, let's get the kids on them as well shall we? So I've been in and I've ordered what I want, but what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you what an oat cake is just by itself, if I can get it out of the packet. So I bought a dozen just to take home. And if I can get this out without destroying it, here it is. So it's just basically like a little oat kind of pancake, almost like a French galette or something like that, it looks like. And they, uh, they make them in the store there, it's basically just a batter. They put it onto a, a hot plate and they are churning them out by the dozen so like i say i bought a dozen of them here i think it was three pounds 18 pence or something like that for a dozen of these to take home so we'll get the kids to uh to give them a try but i've also bought some filled ones for me to try now so on this little paper plate that's where the magic is so we got a sausage and cheese one uh, with some brown sauce on it and a bacon and cheese one just on its own. So, let's see if I can get one of these out and we'll take a look. Oh, it's piping hot. Goodness me. That is seriously warm. <laughs> right. We got the bacon and cheese one first. Here it is. So they fold it in half. I've normally had them kind of wrapped a little bit more, but this is just folded in half. And inside, you can see you've got all the bacon and cheese there. Now, it's almost too hot to hold. It really is. But I'm looking forward to this. I've not had an oat cake in a long time. I think officially they're called North Staffordshire oat cakes, but I just call them Staffordshire oat cakes. Anyway. There we go. Oh. That's so yummy. Now you can get them with all kinds of breakfasty kind of fillings you can have sausage and egg right if i i've gone for the cheesy ones that is the type that uncle steve and auntie paula always used to make when i was a teenager coming up on the train from dorset in the school holidays to visit them up in stoke mm. Back then, there used to be a little place that was basically just, they'd almost like taken the front window out of a terraced house in Hanley, I think it was, in the middle of Stoke. And they used to make them on a hot plate there and you just literally go and buy them freshly made. And that one's closed down, I believe now. But there are still quite a few traditional oat cake manufacturing places dotted all over Stoke or oh, dripping dripping cheesy grease all over myself here <laughs> hopefully that will come out in the wash mm. but this is such a treat I honestly can't remember the last time I had one of these every now and again I'd get one, again, from Auntie Paula. Obviously, they still had family up in this neck of the woods. So sometimes they'd have some kicking around in the freezer or whatever if you went around their house. 
but it's been a very, very long time. This is a real treat. The, uh, the pancake itself is reasonably thick. It's thicker than a crepe would be, um, but not as thick as like an American pancake or anything like that. It's very soft. Almost kind of squishy to the touch. <laughs> I was just going to film having a few bites of this. But as you can see, I've eaten the blooming lot. <laughs> That's delicious. Wow. I've still got the sausage one to try. I'm a lucky boy today. So let me get that one out. Here we go. God, that's still red hot in the packet there. So here we go. This is the sausage one. You'll see there's a, a whole sausage tucked into there with the cheese, with the brown sauce. The cheese they're using is a really, really nice one. It's not mild at all. Quite a sharp cheddar, quite a sharp, mature one. Which complements everything really nicely. I bet that's going to go nice with this brown sauce too. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Wowzers. So the sausage they've used in it, it's not an expensive one, I don't think. Not the cheapest by any stretch of the imagination, but kind of a bit like a chip shop sausage, if you know what I mean. Mm. But that being hot in there, inside the hot oat cake, has melted that cheese completely now. So it's really unctuous and gooey. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this video is just going to be eight minutes of me going, mmm, yeah, wow. <laughs> but it's so good. It is so good. They're so popular in Stoke. I mean, it's a real traditional food. But it's not one that shows any signs of dying out. Like I say, I, st I think there's still probably about eight or ten oat cake shops, and I think you can buy them in most of the supermarkets up here too. When I was in the shop, a woman came in just behind me and ordered two dozen of them. So people do tend to buy them by the dozen. And if you have a couple of them filled with whatever, I mean, that's going to be a really hearty breakfast or lunch. Mm. I'm almost sad now because I'm down to the last bite of this. I don't think with the cheese and everything in there you could eat too many of them. But they're blooming addictive, let me tell you. <laughs> Well then folks, let me know in the comments section down below if you've ever tried a Staffordshire oat cake. I've got to say, if you haven't, you're missing out. I don't know if you'll be able to get them where you live, but if you're ever in this part of the world, find one of these little shops. Like I say, there's, there's probably a dozen of them around, all spread all throughout Stoke that still make them on the premises every day. So you're getting them fresh and they're absolutely excellent. You can fill them with whatever you want. You could probably put sweet stuff in as well, I guess. I've only ever had them with savoury things in. Sausage, cheese, bacon, that sort of stuff. You can put a fried egg in it. All sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Get yourself to Stoke. It's a real local delicacy and one that shows no sign of dying out, that's for sure. Okay then, folks, so if you've enjoyed this little video of me championing the North Staffordshire oat cake, why not consider clicking a thumbs up on there for me? It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you like what you've seen, and maybe you'd like to see more of it, why not consider clicking the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. 
Right, time for me to fire up the car and start heading back down towards Dorset. More content from uh, a little bit closer to home to come. I'll see you then. Bye for now. Yeah.